China's GDP is already more than 120 trillion yuan, or 18 trillion US dollars. It would be difficult to grow at the rate of 8 or 10 percent like in the past. Second, China is experiencing a transition of economic growth model. The tradition model of relying heavily on infrastructure and the real estate might generate higher growth, but would also delay structural adjustment and undermine growth sustainability. High quality and sustainable growth is far more important. So right now we should focus more on improving economic structure and forming new growth drivers. The ongoing economic transformation will be a long and difficult journey, but it is a journey we must take. Looking ahead, the Chinese economy remains highly resilient thanks to its strengths, such as innovation ability, big market, gold infrastructure, well-established industrial chains, rich and well-educated human resources, just to name a few. As the renewable energy and other new drivers of economy continue to grow, and as the recent policy measures gradually take effect, such as those supporting the real estate sector, reducing the debt burden of the local governments, as well as the issuance of an additional one trillion RMB central government bond. I'm confident that China will enjoy healthy and sustainable growth in the 2024 and beyond. Second, let me talk about PBOC's mandatory policy response. This year, the PBOC has used a mix of tools, including cutting the reserve requirement ratio twice, cutting policy rate twice, and guiding the market rate, including the LPR, to go down. As a result, monetary and financial conditions have remained favorable for economic development. M2 and the total social financing increased by 10.3% and 9.3% year on year in October, respectively. The weighted average lending rate of corporate loans was 3.8% in September, the lowest level in the recorded history of the PBOC. In, in the meantime, we are also making use of structural monetary policy instruments when appropriate in support of small business, green finance, and innovation. As of the end of third quarter this year, PBOC outstanding lending through structural instruments totaled 7 trillion yuan, about 15% of our, our balance sheet. Going forward, the PBOC will continue to keep its monetary policy accommodative to provide support to our economy. <laughs>